Hong Kong Chok. President, please be seated. Hong The court is now in session. Je déclare l'audience ouverte. Today, the chamber will hear the testimony of a witness through TCW 986. Mrs. Sakolbouté, please report the attendance of the parties and other individuals at today's proceedings. Sakolbouté, Mr. President, for today's proceedings, all parties to this case are present, except Mr. Richard Copper, the International Defense Council for Nun Chi, who is absent today for personal reasons, and Mr. Kevin Sounder, the December Council for Q Sumpon is absent, and Mr. Nunji is present in the holding cell downstairs due to health reasons. Today's witness, that is through CW986, confirms that through his best knowledge, he has no relationship by blood or by law to any of the two accused, that is Nguyen Chi and Kim Porn, or to any of the civil parties admitted in this case. The witness took an oath before the Iron Club statue this morning. Thank you, Mr. President. President, thank you. And uh, Nun Chi's defense, has you submitted Defense the waiver Nunchi, from your client? Le document pour votre client? Document de renoncement. Council Sonarun. Maître Sonarun. Mr. President, uh, the case manager, Mr. Pola, has just arrived uh, due to traffic congestion this morning, and a waiver will be submitted shortly. Thank you. President, President, the chamber has had a request by Nunti through his defense counsel. To follow the uh, proceedings uh, remotely for uh, today's uh, hearing, as he waves his direct presence in uh, the courtroom, and his defense uh, team. Assures the chamber that the waiver will be submitted in due course and based on the above information and pursuant to Rule 815 of the ECCC internal rules, the chamber grants Nucci his request to follow today's proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs by an audiovisual means. As Nucci has waived his right to be present in the courtroom, the defense team is requested to deliver the waiver as soon as possible with the sampling or signature of the accused Nguyen Chi. And the chamber instructs the AV unit personnel to link the proceedings to the room downstairs so that Nguyen Chi can follow the proceedings that applies for the whole day. Court officer, could you usher the witness into the courtroom? Veuillez faire entrer le témoin dans le prétoire.
Good morning, Madame Witness. What is your name? Quel est votre nom? Witness, my name is Bong Sarun. Bong Sarun. President, thank you, Madame Bong Sarun. Je vous remercie, Madame Bong Sarun. Do you recall when you were born? Vous souvenez-vous de votre date de naissance? Answer: Yes. Réponse: Oui. I was born on the 28th of November 1954. 1954. President, thank you. President, je vous and where were you born? Answer. Réponse. I was born at Kiei Kang Bong, village Dong Tung Commune, Dong Tung District, Kampot Province. President, thank you. And where is your current address? Quelle est votre adresse aujourd'hui? Answer. Réponse. I lived in the same village that I just told John. Question, thank you. And what is your current occupation? Quelle est votre profession à l'heure actuelle? President. Before, of, after 1979, après I was a primary teacher. However, currently, I am retired. Thank you. Question. And what Merci are the names Merci. of your father and mother? Sont les noms de votre père et de votre Answer. Mère. My Réponse. father is Hu So, and Hu my mother ma is Long Hain. Question. Question. And what is your husband's name Quel and how many children do you have together? Answer. His name is Bright Son, alias Said, and we have Elias four Sat, children. Et nous avons quatre enfants. President, thank you, Madame Bong Sarun. The Krefi made an oral report that, to your best knowledge, none of your father, mother, ascendants, children or descendants, brothers, sisters, in-laws, or husband is admitted as a civil party in case 002. Is this information correct? And uh, uh, Mr. President, please uh, repeat your question. President, the Graffi made an oral report that, to your best knowledge, none of your father, mother, ascendants, children or descendants, brothers, sisters, in-laws or husband is admitted as a civil party in case 002. Is this information correct? Answer. I don't understand your question, Your Honor. President. Uh, Madame, do you know if any of your relatives files an application to become a civil party in this case? Answer. No. President, thank you. And the graphic also reported that you already took an oath before your appearance in this court. Is that correct? Answer. Yes, I took an oath. President, thank you. And the Chamber would like to inform you of your rights and obligations as a witness regarding your rights. And Madame Vong Sarun, as a witness in the proceedings before the Chamber, you may refuse to respond to any question or to make any comment which may incriminate you. That is your right against self-incrimination. This means that you may refuse to provide your response or make any comment that could lead you to being prosecuted regarding your obligations. As a witness in the proceedings before the Chamber, you must respond to any questions by the bench or relevant parties except where your response or comment to those questions might incriminate you, as the Chamber has just informed you of your right as a witness. 
You must tell the truth that you have known, heard, seen, remembered, experienced, or observed directly about an event or occurrence which are related to the questions that the bench or the party is supposed to do. Do you understand about your rights and obligations as a witness before this chamber, Madame Witness? Answer, yes, I do. President, thank you. And Madame Wong Sron, have you been interviewed by investigators of the Office of the Co-Investigating Judges of the ECCC? Answer, no, I haven't. President, thank you. Pursuant to Rule 91B of the ECCC Internal Rules, the Chamber shall give the floor to Nunchi's defense to put questions to this witness. However, as requested by the Nunchi's defense to put the questions last to this witness, although they were the requester for this witness, the Chamber grants the defense team the request. And the the floor will be given first to the co-prosecutors before other parties to this case. The co-prosecutors, do you have the floor? Thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honors, Council. Uh, Madam Witness, my name is Dale Lysak. I'll be asking you uh, some questions this morning. And I'd like to start uh, if you could tell us um, simply uh, where you were living uh, at the start of the Khmer Rouge regime on the 17th of April, 1975. I was detained in prison, just to be brief. Are you sure that you were in prison at the 17th of April? And can you tell us a little bit about when you were detained and what prison you were at? Dans quelle prison vous vous trouviez? I was detained at the Krantachan prison in Samarang commune, Trangkok district, Takao province. All right, let's, let's come back to the dates uh, a little later. Um, why don't you tell us um, where you lived and what you did for work uh, prior to the time you were arrested and sent to Krang Tachan. Before I was uh, detained and Avant imprisoned at Krang Tachan prison, I was uh, transferred été from uh, uh, Tramco du district de Tramco to uh, Jan Deep Village, Trapeng Thum Commune, Tramco district, Takao province. Before you were arrested and sent to Krang Tachan, uh, did you work as a medic at a hospital that was known as Hospital 22?
Yes, I was a hospital staff at Hospital 22, and after the liberation in 1975, I was sent to Trancourt District, as I just mentioned earlier. How long did you work at Hospital 22? I cannot uh, recall it uh, clearly. I cannot say uh, how long I worked there. It could be three or four months uh, before the liberation in 1979, says the witness. And where was Hospital, hospital 22 located? Before uh, the liberation on the 17th April 1975, rather I cannot recall the location of that hospital. I simply recall that I was sent or transferred to work at the provincial hospital in Takeo province. Uh, do, do you remember, was Hospital 22 in Tramcock District, or was it in some other part of uh, Takeo Province? If I am not uh, mistaken, that hospital was si uh, close to hospital another hospital in Trapenkul commune, Trapenkul district, district Takeo province. province. And can you tell us uh, what uh, type of hospital was Hospital 22? Uh, do you know, was it a zone hospital, a sector hospital? a military hospital. Can you tell us a little bit about Hospital 22? Answer, Hospital 22 was the Southwest zone hospital, de la zone but sud it provides uh, treatment for military. Et des soins étaient apportés au personnel militaire dans cet hôpital. Who was the uh, head of Question. Hospital 22 uh, during 22 the time you worked there? Au moment où vous y travailliez vous-même. The chief Réponse. of hospital. Le was responsable Gaul. de l'hôpital était I, Gaul. I did not know his surname. Je ne sais pas quel était son nom de famille. And can you tell us uh, how it was that you came Question. to be assigned to work at Hospital 22? Comment il se faisait que vous ayez été appelé à aller travailler dans cet hôpital 22? Answer, I could recall it. Oui, je m'en souviens. I uh, got married and my je husband was a medic, so I was allowed to médecin. live with my husband. J'ai donc pu avoir le droit d'aller vivre avec lui. Let me ask you uh, a few questions about question. your husband. Um, what, when was it that you mari. got married? What year? En quelle année vous êtes-vous marié? Rien 
Answer. I got married Réponse. in 1973. Je me suis marié en 1973. Where, where were you Question. living when you got married to your Où husband? Où viviez-vous lorsque vous êtes marié avec votre mari? Answer. After Réponse. my marriage. First, Après mon mariage, first I live in Preikmal commune. J'ai vécu dans la commune de Preikmal, Chuk district, district Kampot de Chuk, province. Province de Kampot. And uh, where was your husband from? Was he from the same village Question. and commune as you? Et d'où venait votre mari? Était-il originaire de la même commune que vous? Answer. My Réponse. husband was born in Mon mari était Tan né Han, à Tan Han, Kampong Trai, uh, district, Kampot, district Kampong Trai, province. province de Kampot. Was your husband Khmer Krom or Kampachia Krom? Question. Votre mari était-il était un Khmer Krom? Yeah. Answer. My husband Réponse. was purely Khmer, but he was Mon living in Tan Han. It was near the border of uh, tout près de Cambodia la and Vietnamese qui uh, le area. Du Vietnam. Do you know whether Question. before the time you got married, that whether your husband had lived in Vietnam marié, at any time? Savez-vous si votre mari avait vécu au Vietnam à un moment donné? Yeah, mon nom Ripka. Answer: Réponse. Before I got married to my husband. Avant de me marier avec lui. Actually, my husband was. Purely Khmer, but it was said that he was from Hanoi. On m'avait dit qu'il venait de Hanoi, mais c'était un pur Khmer. Can, can you explain explain that? Question. Why did people say he was from Hanoi? Ce sujet? Pourquoi est-ce que l'on disait de votre mari qu'il venait de Hanoi? Answer. Réponse. For this matter, I am not sure, but he told me that Je during the Israq time, he worked as a medic, and, and after that, uh, he was uh, suite, collected and sent to uh, Vietnam to work as a medic. Au Vietnam pour qu'il travaille en tant que médecin. When you and your husband were married, was it a traditional Khmer wedding or was it a wedding uh, arranged by the party, by Ankar? And so for my Réponse. marriage, Ankar arranged it for me. And can you tell us um, what your husband's uh, position nous uh, dire or uh, position was uh, during the Khmer Rouge votre mari regime, sous le that regime is from Rouge, April 1975 through January 1979? Answer. Réponse. He was a surgeon. Il était sergent. Giving a treatment to people. Chirurgien. Correction. Il était chirurgien et il fournissait des soins. Where did he work as a surgeon? Question. Et où travaillait-il en tant que chirurgien? Réponse. Answer. As a virgin, he was working in Mo 22. Il travaillait à l'unité 22. 
So you and, and you and your husband worked question. at the same hospital, Hospital 22. Is, is that correct? Dans le même hôpital, l'hôpital 22. Est -ce exact? Yeah. Answer: Yes, Réponse. that is correct. Oui, c'est exact. Is, is your husband uh, still alive today? Votre mari est-il encore en vie aujourd'hui? Answer. He is already deceased. Il est décédé. He, he was imprisoned at Krang Tachan Security where I was also detained and he already deceased. Il est emprisonné et il est mort. And can you tell us did he die at Krang Tachan? Or did he survive the Khmer Rouge period like you and die later? Answer. After he was arrested for one week, he was executed at Krang Tachan. Ensuite, il a été exécuté à Krang Tachan. I'll come back to ask you some more questions about that later. Je reviendrai à cela un peu plus tard. Je vous poserai d'autres questions à ce sujet. Your husband's name. Did I understand correctly that his revolutionary alias was Set? Avait pour alias révolutionnaire Set. Answer yes. His name was Set. It was his alias name. And could you repeat for me what his family and given name was? Comment il s'appelait? Quel était son nom de famille? Qui elle était son prénom? My husband's name, full name, was Prat Chon, and his alias name was. Said. Thank you. Um, I want to turn Question. now to Merci. some questions about uh, your arrest par à votre uh, and uh, uh, the uh, events that uh, occurred leading up to and after your arrest. Um, could you tell us um, what happened, where you were, uh, when you were arrested by the Khmer Rouge? Winners. Réponse. Uh, could you clarify for me uh, what event are you referring préciser, to? Vous vous plaît, de quoi parlez-vous? De quel événement parlez-vous? You've indicated that you were um, detained at Krang Tachan Prison. Vous dites avoir été détenu dans la prison uh, de Krang Tachan. Know, uh, want to, what I want you to tell us about first is how you got to Krang Tachan. Uh, were you arrested? And if so, can you tell us? Who it was that arrested you and sent you to Krang Tachan Prison? Yeah. After my husband was taken away, I was put in cooperative of Yan Tip in the widow unit. I was asked to build dam, on m'a demandé de construire canal, un barrage, de and creuser after des canaux. Et à mon retour à midi, j'ai vu deux militiens. On m'a dit qu'il fallait que je rentre chez moi. À ce moment-là, Asked permission to collect my belongings, and I was told that I did not need to go to collect my belongings. They would collect the belongings for me. At that time, I had a baby, 
À l'époque, j'avais un bébé d'un an. Parce que je travaillais au sein de l'unité itinérante, had nothing but a, nous n'avions rien. But one set of nous n'avions clothes. que They quelques vêtements. Work and ils nous ont fait travailler only a of, uh, et ils nous donnaient seulement une louche de soupe. Every day, I missed my husband, and I uh, did not know how hard he was asked to work. At that time, I was told that I had to go back to my home. I was thinking that I uh, would be imprisoned under this uh, pretext. And I que told uh, them that uh, please uh, tell me the truth. I had my husband, and my husband uh, was uh, taken away Marie and disappeared. And I had a baby, one year un old baby, with me. And I had a set of clothes. And I sought and implored them to tell me the truth where I was taken to. And When I was uh, living with them, I arrived at the Pyang Thom Bridge, and I was asked to wait there. On m'a demandé d'attendre là-bas. And I met a lady named Han. Han. She had a baby Elle as well. She was working as a medical staff Elle in the hospital as I uh, was working at that time. And she told me that. Uh, We all together would be in prison. Elle dit que nous allions tous être jetés en prison. I uh, did not know where to go at that time. I was confused. J'étais perdu. We will walk uh, further uh, to nous a place near a lake, and uh, the militia man asked me to stop, and I was searched. If I had something uh, with me, voir si I chose. had nothing at that time. Mais as I said, I had a pair, a set of dit, clothes, and uh, my baby also had a set of clothes. Et mon bébé avait aussi ses vêtements. And I was considered uh, as a, a class below. Uh, Ordinary people. On estimait que I was je faisais partie d'une classe taken to a place near a lake. On m'a envo- on m'a amené à un endroit qui est situé tout près d'un lac. There was a place with uh, the barbed wire surrounding that place. This place was near a lac. It was about 100 meters away from that lake. There was a door. At that place, and the door was porte, closed. La porte était I fermée. was let into that place, on m'a fait and after endroit. that, the door was closed. Et la porte I thought refermée. that I uh, would be dead. Je pensais que j'allais mourir. After I entered uh, that place, I saw a hall with a uh, wooden plank. J'ai When uh, un I was there with uh, my planche, baby, I saw the chief there. J'étais I was bébé, a locked chef, into a j'ai cell with my baby. I was asked bébé. to sit down, On m'a demandé de m'asseoir. and uh, the circle or the ring uh, was taken to lock me or Et to shackle me. Pour my ankle was shackled J'étais and my hands uh, were cast and uh, they said that uh, this lady was sad wife. I kept silent at that time I, because my husband already was already dead and I thought I uh, would be dead as my husband and my baby would also be dead. I was given a gruel with soup, a ladle of gruel and a ladle of soup. Uh, The soup uh, had no sauce. I uh, did not eat uh, the gruel and the soup, uh, I gave it to my baby. My baby was uh, crying all day for three days. They came in and 
beat my baby. Ils sont venus pour le battre. Because of uh, my uh, good deeds, I uh, you know, uh, together with uh, the whole of Yaino her whole family were in prison in that place. She was very kind. Endroit. She gave uh, me the sauce. Yeno uh, saw me at that time, and uh, she could see that I uh, did not uh, have any meal for three days. Yeno told me to be strong, and I was told by Yeno that uh, we all together were mistreated. And after her explanation, I started to eat a little bit. After seven days, I was uh, a walk uh, out of the room uh, to be interrogated. I uh, was uh, falling down uh, repeatedly because of no food. I was uh, bitten. I had no strength to walk. And I had numb in my ankle because I was shackled. When I arrived at uh, the interrogation, uh, interrogation place, I was asked to sit on a metal chair. <laughs> Mr. President, I uh, would like to have a Monsieur short break. I had no strength to uh, speak of uh, the, to tell the court about the event. President, uh, please wait for a while, uh, Mr. International oui, Deputy Co-Prosecutor, you can be seated. President, it is uh, better to take a short break now, and uh, the chamber will take a short break from now until 10.30.
Nous allons donc suspendre l'audience et reprendre à 10h30. Rather, at, uh, the court will be resumed at uh, 10 uh, past 10. Ou plutôt 10h10. Court officers, uh, 10h10. please uh, 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 find a proper place for this witness and have uh, uh, her returned at uh, 10 past 10. Du témoin et veillez à ce qu'elle soit de retour à 10h10.